Here is an integer. I want to print the second digit. So I print n at index 1. But I get this error. Int object is not subscriptable. But what does that mean and how can you solve it? The word subscript means this syntax here. An element at index 1 is accessed. It is called subscription because in math the number would be written subscript. But in a code editor we cannot write it like this, so we wrap the index in square brackets. Now, if it was your goal to print the number 5, you can do that by first converting n to a string like this. And that works. But it is more likely that this error was the result of a mistake in your code. Let me give you an example of how these things can suddenly happen. Here is function print circle. It takes integer circle ID and a tuple with the circle center. The circle info is printed and the function is called. And here is the result. But now the function is called again and by accident the arguments are swapped. And when the code is executed, the first function call was fine, but the second raised an error. Python tried to access elements at index 0 and 1, but when the function is called, int 4 is passed. And as you know, an int object is not subscriptable. The problem with this error is that it is not very intuitive, because developers would first try to figure out what goes wrong here, only to find it was the function call that caused the problem. Problems like these can be spotted even before running the code by adding type hints. And to see how that works, click on this video right now. There you learn how to prevent passing arguments in the wrong order by using static type checking.